What's up out there? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the most common used hacks the Flipper Zero can do. The Flipper Zero can be used for many different things. Now we can also clone keys. Let's watch a small video where they talk about how to clone keys using the flipper zero. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna hold the key over the screen and then you're gonna tap the button to match the increments and decrements on the actual key, which will then possibly make it possible for you to make that other key. Now, <clears throat> there are more things you need in order to just clone the key, because literally, you can just make a copy of the key using clay. Now, <clears throat> the problem here is that you already have the key. So if you already have the key in your hand, how does it matter that you can actually use this app? So it doesn't really matter for that case. I would just like to say that, you know, cloning keys, is a lot easier than this. If you have the right amount of tools and you have the key, you can make a new key really fast, a lot better than the Flipper Zero can actually do. What people also casually talk about a lot with the Flipper Zero is that it can hack cars. Now, I actually talked about this topic many times. I even locked out my own car using a Flipper Zero. There are things you can do, but there's also some requirements. What people usually neglect to tell you is that you have to be in a very close vicinity of the actual key. And you have to be aware that if there's other people there as well, sending the same kind of signal to the car using the key fob, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna receive a lot of mixed signals. It's not like you're gonna go ahead and just record something you point at because that's not the way radio signals work. So good luck with that. Now, what is easier is that you are in a located place with one car, one key fob, and then you tell the person to click the key pop and then you record the actual frequency on your flipper zero. So it's just that moment where the key fob is pressed, you record the key. Now that is a story that I just told you that require a lot of different coordination. So just using your flipper zero to hack cars is not feasible in my eyes, it is not practical. And then people also say something about that newer cars they have rolling key codes. Well, that is true. But it kind of also makes it not possible to hack a car. You're using the term hack, meaning, meaning you get unauthorized access to that car. Well, you could get unauthorized access with a hammer too. Is that hacking a car? You know, I would be calling that breaking in. So in terms of hacking the car, you would most likely have to do something that involves tricking the car system in some way using some sort of digital appliance in order to get into the car. And that kind of functionality is not possible to do with the Flipper Zero. So I'm really sorry, it is not possible to hack a car using a Flipper Zero. It is possible to replay an actual radio signal and that is really what it is. Old cars, I don't know how old they are, but who drives an old car? You know, some people might do. And then you can open it with the flipper zero. Well, I still need to find that car. And then you also need to f record that radio signal from the key fob at that time that that person actually opened the car. A lot of things need to be aligned. It is not, imp it is not practical, it is highly impractical. Hacking Wi-Fi using the Flipper Zero can actually be achieved. Now, many things is overrated using the Flipper Zero, but this hack is actually legit. Using Flipper Zero to capture a handshake, which basically means that you're capturing the Wi-Fi password you use to connect to the access point or to the Wi-Fi, you could say the password to the Wi-Fi, is actually possible to intercept in certain ways by sending something called a deauthentication signal. These kind of signals are not unique to Flipper Zero. They have been here for 
ever since Wi-Fi have been created, it is a natural way for disconnecting yourself from a Wi-Fi access point. The problem is that we can use mechanisms that are more publical publicly available now, like the Flipper Zero, to force these kind of de-authentication packages. But I'll make this very clear. This is not unique for the Flipper Zero and has been around here for many, many years. Sending such a de-authentication package will then disconnect the client from the Wi-Fi access point just momentarily or briefly. Then you can try and capture the actual handshake it sends to reconnect itself to the actual Wi-Fi access point. Then you can capture that handshake. And of course, it is 99 point, no, more than most like 100% these days, always encrypted. So you're not really getting anything from that. What you need to do after that is to transfer the Wi-Fi access point handshake that is encrypted from the Flipper Zero to your computer. And then you need to begin something called a brute force attack, which basically is waiting for many, 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 many weeks, years, or who knows how long. Maybe you will never find the password. It is basically just guessing. So is it feasible to do brute force attacks uh, with caught um, Wi-Fi access passwords? Well, I would say it is, but it just takes a lot of time and needs a lot of computing power and it doesn't really prove anything that you can capture it. So just capturing the Wi-Fi handshake is not unique. It's nothing you can use it for anything. It is, if you're gonna try and brute force it, you need the, a lot of amount of computer power to do that. So just having the Flipper series saying, oh, I can hack you Wi-Fi, that is not true. You cannot hack the Wi-Fi. Other kind of attacks using Flipper Zero is actually easier to trick the password out of an actual user with something called a man in the middle attack or something also called the evil portal attack. Now that is actually a quite different thing which requires some extra software running on the Flipper Zero and you probably need some of those fancy Wi-Fi boards running something like let's say my or something like that which makes it able for the Flipper Zero to spawn an actual point for someone to connect to and insert their password. It's basically asking them to give it to you. It would be the same thing but it's really hard to do that. A lot of things need to be aligned and to work and uh, <clears throat> the deception has to be really high, so is it feasible? I'm gonna put that into the, yeah, it's okay, but it does require a lot to work. So, I wanna say thank you for watching the video. If you like the video or like the content that I create, please click the button below, subscribe to my channel, also click the notification bell, so you get an actual notification when I upload a video. See you out there and stay safe.